I'm Tommy Henderson with Henderson's Lineup and Super Steer, and today I want to talk to you a bit about the adjustable Coney struts for the Sprinter 3500 two-wheel drive chassis. So this is a product that we've found in our recent testing that works really well on the Sprinter chassis to help control that body roll uh, and sway, rocking. Uh, they work really nicely alongside our Super Steer rear shocks, which Coney makes for us. Both our rear Super Steer shocks and these Coney struts are adjustable. So today I want to talk to you a bit about what that adjustment process looks like for the Coney struts and also give some recommendations on where to set them per your preference. Just like our Super Steer rear shocks for the Sprinter chassis, in order to adjust these struts, you have to fully compress the shaft of the strut. And that's something that you really want to do only once before you install them. Our rear shocks are, are pretty easy to pull on and off as far as shocks go. The front struts though, not so much. You can see we've already removed the factory strut, so we're, we've torn into our front end a fair amount here in order to uh, actually replace the front struts on this coach. So you really want to figure out before you install the struts where you want to set them. So first, I'll go over what the process looks like to adjust them. Okay, so in order to adjust these struts, you've got to compress the shaft of the strut fully, and then you're gonna to need to rotate it. So because it's a little bit hard to grab this and rotate it while compressing it, I'm gonna use an Allen wrench. So it's an eight millimeter hex head. So we're gonna compress it and then rotate it to make sure that those cams engage. So there, see how it dropped in there? Then I'm gonna rotate it counterclockwise to make sure it's fully backed off, which it is. I can't, I can't go any more clockwise. It's important to note, especially when you're using a tool that gives you some more leverage, do not force it beyond the extremes of adjustment. So now I've got my point where it's backed all the way off. Now I'm going to use a paint stick just as a reference. And these struts are a little bit different in that there is just a little bit of pressure in them. So it does kind of want to expand on me. Not the way like a, a monotube gas strut would, but there is a little bit there. So you really do got to keep a little bit of pressure on it to keep those cams engaged. So what I'm going to do, make sure I'm still backed off all the way. I'm going to make a little mark right there. So one mark on the, the shaft of the strut and one mark on the body of the lower half. That gives me my reference point for fully loose. So now is where we gotta figure out, okay, where do we want to adjust this thing? We've got our reference for all the way backed off. In this particular case, we're going to adjust it 50% uh, of its total range of motion. Now on these struts, that's about one turn because the total range of adjustments is about two full turns. So that's gonna give us a good point where you're gonna notice quite a bit more stability compared to your factory struts, but you're not gonna hurt your ride quality. For somebody who wanted the maximum control, I would say you could go all the way up to 75%, so that would be a turn and a half. Um, in some cases, somebody says, yeah, I don't, I don't care if it makes it ride a little bit harsher, um, give me the most instability. Then you could run them all the way up to two full turns. That's actually what we are doing on our own Sprinter. For this customer, we're gonna go halfway, we're gonna go one full turn. So as you can see, this thing has expanded. So we're gonna make sure it's backed all the way off. All right, we're still backed all the way off. Now I'm gonna go clockwise, one full turn while maintaining pressure on that. All right, so now we're back where we started, but we're one turn tighter. So now we've got our adjustment. The thing pops out on its own. So now, now you can see that it's popped out of the adjuster. I can rotate this thing totally. It's not changing the adjustment at all. So now your adjustment is set. You can go ahead and install the struts just like you normally would. Now for, for DIYers, I'm gonna say it's less common that you're really gonna want to install these things yourself just because you do have to get an alignment afterward, uh, which is why we're not really making this a full DIY video. But a lot of times you might be taking these to a shop who, eh, they're not familiar with manual adjust Coney sh shocks or struts. So in that case, you can set the adjustment yourself, bring them into the shop, then you have confidence to know that they are adjusted where you want them and then the shop can just install them like any other strut. If you got value from this video, I definitely encourage you to like and subscribe. Uh, be sure to ring that bell for notifications when more videos come out. And as always, I wish you safer and happier driving. <laughs>